everyone. So I'm back on here. I wanted to come on, had it on my heart to encourage you guys. I know that we're still here. And for those watching for Christ, you know, there's that Bible verse that says, hope deferred makes the heart grow sick. So I know sometimes it's really hard to watch because it's a roller coaster. Sometimes you're really excited. You're on fire for the Lord. You can't wait to see him. And then a time frame passes and you're just like, how, like, how are we still here? So that's kind of the way it was for me at the end of September, because as you guys know, I was watching the Day of Atonement because the Feast of Trumpets on the Year of Jubilee is celebrated on the Day of Atonement. But I wasn't just watching the 26th, I was watching three days later based on the video that Ty Green put out about how he believes that the Feast of Trumpets actually started on the 19th of September, not the 16th. So with that being said, I'm going to tell you guys some big reasons why I believe that this weekend, the 7th and the 8th, and also the 11th are super high watch. So first I'm going to just share some scriptures with you about tabernacles. So basically I'm referring to the season of tabernacles. So this is found in the book of Leviticus 23 verses 33 through 36. Actually, technically it goes to verse 40 and beyond, but I have put in 33 through 36 and verse 40. So I left out a little section there, but this is what it says. And the Lord spoke unto Moses saying, speak unto the children. I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on. Children of Israel saying the 15th day of the seventh month shall be the feast of tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be an, an holy convocation. You shall do no servile work therein. Seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be an holy convocation unto you, and you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a solemn assembly, and you shall do no servile work therein. Can you guys tell I picked the King James Version this time? <laughs> That's probably why I'm having trouble. Um, and you shall take, um, take you on... You shall take you on the first day the boughs of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and boughs of thick trees, and willows of the brook, and ye shall rejoice before the Lord your God seven days. So I wanted to share that with you because obviously this time frame is tabernacles, and I think that there's some references in there that you will want to keep in mind when you listen through one of these prophetic dreams that I'm going to put in the description box that really seem to point to tabernacles. And I've also personally had dreams over the last few years of holding palm branches. And I've always, you know, wondered why. And I, I can't help but wonder if the reason I've seen palm branches in my dreams is perhaps because the Lord was trying to show tabernacles. So just a fun little side note there. Um, also, um, to save time, because I don't know how much room I have on my phone, um, I'm just going to refer to the transfiguration and tell you the verses, but you can actually get it from the description box. So that's found in Luke 9, 28 through 33. So I will put that in the description box for you guys. So let's dig right into this. Some juicy fun tidbits that point to October 7th or 8th and possibly the 11th if we're three days off from with when the Feast of Trumpets would have been on September 16th. So, all right, I have my trusty papers here because I don't want to leave anything out that I wanted to, um, you know, I had in my heart to share. So first of all, I want to mention Sister Gigi at Blue Heaven had a great video. She always does great videos, but it's about the great last day of Tabernacles. Um, it's about there's different things in it, but she talks about the transfiguration on the Mount and how that happened on the great last day of Tabernacles. And how Putin's birthday nuke test is happening October 7th. So it'll be his birthday. And he's testing a nuke. I believe it's called Chernobyl, which means wormwood, if I'm not mistaken, which is very interesting and prophetic. And also how the asteroid child is still being birthed as of October 7th. So, wow. Watch that video. It's super encouraging. Um, and I also shared a dream that she shared about a prophetic dream that seems to point to the great last day of tabernacles, you know, talking about like lemons and um, I believe like palm branches and such. So something else to keep in mind when testing prophecies. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, so here's some heavier things that are going on that seem to just point to how close we are to going home it really points to World War III, and I also believe that this feeds into Ezekiel 38, which will happen right after the rapture. Some think it'll happen right away. Some think it'll happen a little bit down the road. I personally believe it's going to happen like right after the rapture. 
But so this is a an article that I'm just gonna go into the headlines. Oh, my fingers are hurting. I feel like I have arthritis. <laughs> Too young for this. <laughs> but anyway, so this is this is the article. Putin threatens the West with total nuclear destruction, leaving no chance of survival in the event of a strike on Russia as he warns his Satan II and flying Chernobyl missiles are ready for use in ranting anti-U.S. speech. So again, I will share these articles in the description box in case I haven't already mentioned that. I think I have. And I also shared a great prophecy and headline update from Watchman River because it just has a lot of really interesting tidbits on things that are going on. He always does a wonderful job sharing sharing those types of things, which sometimes they get into the headlines on the videos and sometimes they don't. But I highly recommend his videos and especially this one because it talks about how they are still trying to divide God's land. So everything we talked about, about the Abraham Accords and, and the, the land getting divided and then the rapture happening because, you know, sudden destruction peace and safety sudden destruction comes upon them okay so that is still in play it hasn't happened yet but it's definitely still in play so don't forget about that here's another headline russia signals intent to quickly revoke ratification of nuclear test ban treaty so yeah so basically he backed out of the agreement in order to test nuclear weapons is what i understand okay the next thing we're watching Apparently, this just happened. I think, I don't know exactly when, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but I'm going to tell you what it is. U.S. oil facilities on fire. Turkey bombs U.S. and Kurdish targets in northeastern Syria. And NATO, apparently, is brain dead. But, yeah, I think that probably has a lot to do with a certain person that's uh, in the White House right now. But that's only a very small piece of the puzzle because they're all on the same the same boat so it's it's we're living in clown world according to watchman tom at the river um yeah it's definitely clown world but i mean guys there is there are so many reasons we can go home in the next couple of days i mean could this you know october 7th you know the testing of the nuke could that possibly go from just a test to a an actual real deal um called a snap drill brother bob barber shared that a while back um, could that turn into a snap drill? Possibly. Um, there's a lot of reasons to believe we could be raised up on the great last day of tabernacles, which would fall on October 7th. Um, then there's also Shemini Atzeret, which would be the 8th. And that, you know, 8 represents resurrection, it represents new beginning. And with that being said, there's also the chance that we could be a few days off. Remember the video I keep mentioning from Ty Green. So if that's the case, then you could be looking at the great last day being on the 10th and Shemini Atzeret being on the 11th. So I'm watching this weekend very closely. I mean, I'm protecting my heart, but guys, we're still in the year of Jubilee. And I've even heard that it was explained that like in the Feast of the Trumpets, they, they blew the trumpet. And then in the Day of Atonement, they declared you know, what, what needed to be done. But then on tabernacles was when everything was followed through with, like, for example, you know, the slaves being set free, it was declared, but then on tabernacles was when they were set free. And that's when the debts were forgiven and everything. So I think that's very interesting as far as, you know, looking for the rapture on a Jubilee year. Cause I've shared with you guys some, some things like on my, on my community page here on YouTube, I shared a video about how a young man was just, just describing like what the Holy Spirit showed them that the based on scripture I don't have the verse with me right now but that it's gonna have to be on the year of jubilee that we leave so I, I just believe that the Holy Spirit is pouring himself out you know we always test the prophecies I'm really big on that but we have a lot to look out for this weekend and I just I think we should just just be looking up like never before and you know what if we're still here after tabernacles to be honest I'm gonna be you know, I'm probably going to be disappointed because, you know, I want to be with Jesus. Um, but I'm not going to stop watching. Uh, I'm just going to keep watching with my eyes peeled and occupying and redeeming. But it looks like time is really short, guys. So don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. Get the gospel out. Stay close with Christ. And you know what? Maybe we'll be out of here in the next few days. 
maybe we'll be out of here tomorrow. I mean, it sure looks like we could be. So I think that's it for now, but I hope that encourages you guys. Sorry, I'm not on here too much. I just find that during my work week, I work longer shifts a lot of the week and I have a lunch break and on my lunch break, I'm you know, having some quiet time and going for a walk and I don't really have a lot of time to come on and do videos and I kind of have to watch like when I get a chance and um, wouldn't it, won't, won't it be great when the trumpet sounds and we can just let go of all those things <laughs> and just be with Jesus and just put on our um, kingdom job hat and just like be in heaven. I mean, it's not going to be amazing, um, but yeah. So anyway, Love you guys and stay blessed and hopefully I'll just see you in the air. <laughs> Bye for now.